So uh, he will get two attacks this round. First attack is an eight versus armor class, which is a miss, I'm sure. And the second attack from the red brand ruffian is an 18 versus armor class. Would that be a hit? That's probably pretty close, right? Robert? Um, actually an 18 is it's high. All right. So you get hit for eight piercing damage. Okay. The first attack missed. So, in case you weren't here for that, so. I, I heard you. All right, I Ed, just, you're just up. looking at my sheet. You're next. Well, being as this guy right here turned his back towards me, I'll go ahead and attack him. All right, sounds good to me. Man, we got an old-fashioned just around the table. 23 versus battle. armor class. Uh, 23 is definitely hit, so you can go ahead and roll damage. 10 slashing damage. All right, so poor old Zantag here. Uh, you basically just cut his arm off, his right arm. That is just as he's fixing a lunge forward towards a Jambin, you take his arm off, and your weapon gets lodged into the side of his, basically his side. And it takes you a couple seconds, but you're able to whittle your axe and pull it out, and you know blood sprays out, and he falls over lifeless. He is dead. All right, so anything else for you? Are you done? Any movement? Opportunity attack that you'd like to take from the pirate down to the south? Anything like that? I'd love to give you one. Uh, no, I am fine right now. All right, K Kidoja, Master of Burning Hands. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. You'll be able to hit things I want to step up here and okay. I kind of want to angle the burning hand so that way I can get the three bandits and the cleric. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> so Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so your spell sculpting, <laughs> that is actually two people or is it three people? Two. Alright, so you're angling your... Which way are you angling it? Try and angle it, oh. yeah, like... Point where you want it. Just do a quick point and I'll try to get it. In fact, here... Right there? Let me, let me give you... Here, you can move it. Move it where you want. Okay, so I, I would have I would have to move there then. Shit, sure known. You know, when you blast that burning hands, it's going to come back five feet as well. So. Well, technically, I could still make a movement though. <laughs> Well, you can, yeah. You can move up, and then you're like, oh, maybe not the right spot, and you move back. All right, then you blast okay, it Okay, can't... Okay. Yeah, can't... Yeah, without can hitting anyone else. And it's going to yeah. go out the door anyway, because the door's still open. You know, yeah. There's Is it... three sheets to the wind, so they didn't shut the door behind you, so... Yeah, so it's not going to hit the rest of the party? No, I didn't hear uh, anyone else... Uh, well, uh, it's going to hit the cleric, but you can spell sculpt yeah. that anyway, so... Yeah, I'll do... Okay, this is what I'll do then. Okay, so it's a dex saving throw. Okay, let me do a couple dex saving throws. I believe my dex is plus 25. No nope. Bullshit. Target oh. is 13, I think, if I remember correctly. Alright, so the one at the door uh, makes the saving throw. The And that was for this one right here, this red brand. Alright, this red brand right here is going to roll now. Fails the saving throw. And uh, the last one, uh, this guy here, that actually won the game. Uh, now he's probably going to get killed, and this is the first time he had ever won a game ever. These guys have been stealing his money for three months, <laughs> and then he finally wins a game, and you guys kill him. You sons of bitches. He's he not going to make well. me feel bad about this. <laughs> so go ahead okay, and roll your, your 3d6 damage, and I will take uh, 15 damage on... This one? 
on the two that fail in half yeah. damage. Yeah. All right, and half damage rounded down would be seven. No, round it up. Does it say round it up? No, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's rounded down. I think it rounded, rounded down. All right. Pretty so much everything's rounded down. Yeah. Burning hands, one off, boom, big explosion of fire. You guys expect that from, from the mage anyway. Uh, flames are up, the exactly. table's now on fire. All of the cards, there were a couple pieces of parchment on the uh, on the table as well. They are now on fire, and that's it. Uh, you're okay, you don't have to worry about it because you were spell sculpted out of it. All right, Kadojo, you still got any more movement. Are you done? Because you've only moved about 15 feet. Uh, actually, it's only—I think it's only ten, but yeah, I'm done. Okay. All right, so this guy here, Mr. Pirate-looking guy, Swashbuckler, he's going to attack the cleric as well. Uh, Twenty-one versus AC, which is a hit. Okay, I'm sorry for flipping the damn table. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you take three piercing damage from his first sword attack. His second sword attack is a 14 versus armor class. Is that a miss by chance? I think it might be. Yes. All right. My AC is 18. Okay, so that's it for him. He's done. Uh, Craig, you're up now. All right. Combat's pretty quick, guys. Which one of these bastards next to me is still alive? Well, let's see. This one, uh, actually, they're all in a weakened state, so that's why I didn't even, uh, I really didn't even do any kind of, you know, bloodied effect on their on their token or anything. All right, I'm going to attack this one, I guess. Okay. So now the, all this is going on. A fiery explosion happens. They're going to, uh, they're definitely, they've alerted the guard barracks. Wait a second, so. um, before I do that, it, um, the three da that's three damage that was dealt to me, right? Three piercing, correct. Yeah, it was a minimum okay, damage. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm bloodied. Okay, ooh, you're bloodied? Wow. Yeah. You're weakened. Yeah, we, we, we've only got wow. 20 health. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, but I'm still, I'm attacking that guy first. All right. Which one? Which one? Which guy are you attacking? The the guy in the corner. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Nineteen versus AC is definitely a hit. <clears throat> and he takes five bludgeoning damage. All right. Um, I'm also going to do a bonus action and cast Healing Word on myself. Okay, go ahead and do 1d4 plus your modifiers and your one s level 1 spell slot. Alright, and then you can go ahead and do that and we will go ahead and move on. So, Alright, so here I've got this red, band, red brand ruffian uh, turns to attack Jambin. And uh, she does, uh, well he does lash out with you. Uh, with a short sword weapon, f familiar Deflected. with uh, all of the oh, other ones we're using. I heal for eight. I'm above bloody again. Okay. Uh, oh wait, that's his heal. Okay. First attack is a, a miss. The second attack is even worse. So you dodge the two attacks, and that is it for the red brand ruffian there. So uh, Amon, you're up now. Can I say oh. I just danced between his sword? Um, Stabbed. <laughs> you're doing like a sort of like a Cinderella type of tiptoe as you're parrying and dodging the blows. Sure, you can do that. <laughs> if you want to put it that way. <laughs> He's thinking, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing there, Cinderella? And I bow down at him. All right, Dave, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sneak attack that guy right there. Well, you can uh, attack first, and if you if you're successful, then you can add your sneak attack damage for sure. Well, twelve was my 
against his AC. Uh, 12 versus armor class is a miss. Okay, so then I'd like to disengage. You cannot. Uh, yeah, that, can. was a, that was a... Now, see you attack. That takes one action. When you yeah. disengage, that takes an action. That yeah, actually but, costs an action. But, yeah, oh, but seeing I, that you have uh, your level 2, your rogue uh, skill. What is that called again? Cunning escape or something like that? Um, hold on, I'll tell you. Yeah, I, that's right. You get that at level 2, which is pretty yeah. sweet. Uh, cunning action. There you go. You're able to disengage as a bonus right. action, I believe, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Very see, cool. I, I read this stuff, dog. Ah, I, I, I appreciate that. So I'm going to disengage, like I said. Okay. I'm going to move back to here, to the corner, and I am... Can I pull my bow out? One one square there, beautiful. Oh, one square? All yeah, right. yep. All right, and uh, I'd like to draw my bow. Okay, so as you kind of use your disengage, you can... I'll, sure, you can do that. Because okay. it, it doesn't cost an action to pull a, a weapon out anyway, just basically part of your movement. So you can you can do it either... Uh, we'll just say you can do it at the beginning of next round, which is not going to cost you anything anyway. So, okay. okay. So you disengage back. You still have your weapon, but you're you're going to be able to draw next round. So. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, as Amon disengages back, uh, everyone hears a, a, a smashing. Uh, to the south, the door burst in. Crap. Nice disengage, oh. Dirt. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, crap. What the hell's up this door? Alright, so as this uh, this door burst open, there are several large furry creatures uh, and a goblin. Well, not not a... There's a you can hear the, the goblin, <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> Get him! But you see three large bugbears that are starting to enter the room. Alright, so that's one. That's two. That's three. Doors busted down. In the back, there's the goblin that's basically enticing them, saying, Get him! Get him! <laughs> Get him! Get him! Get him! Alright, so now all hell's broken loose. Bugbears are now involved. So I'm going to add these bugbears. Seeing that we're at the top of the top of the initiative order, I'll just go ahead and add these bugbears in. And you guys, I mean, you're really not surprised. I mean, you're in the, the heat of combat right now anyway, so... Alright, so the bugbears have a... Uh, what do they have for initiative? Alright, same thing. So now they got bugbears they got to worry about as well. This is actually a pretty tough encounter for them. But that's what they get. I mean... Alright, the goblin as well. Do some descending. There we go. Jambin, you are still up with the 23. Okay. The first thing that comes to mind in, who the hell invited them to this um, gambling table brawl? And what the hell are bugbears doing here? Nobody ever mentioned anything about that. <laughs> they only mentioned something about a goblin. Uh, so you're you're actually asking them this or what? I'm not asking, but uh, well, I'm asking who invited them, but I'm As not you... expecting a, expl a reply. Uh, well, you're saying you're saying this as you're charging something, or are you just standing there going, "Look, guys, who invited the bugbears to the party?" I mean, are you charging in, or or what are you doing? Are you attacking the guy well, to your north still? Yeah, I'm going to attack the guy that's in front of me. Okay. As you're saying that. Yeah. Okay. Mont, monster, please, no spoilers in this nine, and it's probably channel. Nice. I ask, no spoilers, guys. I do not want spoilers, so everybody knows that. So I'm gonna, I've got to time you out there because I don't want people seeing this, man. Things change in my games, monster. Please, no, 
Spoilers. And I'm not going to do anything else this turn since I know that's going to be a miss. I'm not banning you permanently. I'm just getting rid of the uh, getting rid of the messages deleted. So yes, it is different than the monster than the actual book says. But things change, guys. Players do different things. Players do different things than what is in the module. And if you've been watching the stream for a while, guys, I change stuff up all the time, just because of people reading modules and everything. So you know, this is. It's changed. No, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm not the only one in the history of D&D &D that's ever changed something in the module. So, please, no spoilers. I ask that all the time, guys. No spoilers. Everybody knows that. Alright, sorry about that. Somebody put a spoiler out in the channel. I had to uh, ax it. And yes, you're right, Monster. That's what's supposed to happen, but that's not what happened. So... There you go. But I'm not mad or anything. This yes, is just, uh, I have an idea that just the way I I'm missed doing the him, game. and I'm not doing anything else, so you can go on to um, whoever's next. Okay, yep, definitely missed. Uh, up to the bugbear. All right, this bugbear moves in. Kind of comes around, sees that there's a target. Uh, he runs up and engages the mage. This is actually going to be a really tough encounter for them. But they're full, full spells, full everything. Uh, they should be able to handle it. My only time, one of some damage. Surprises a creature, no surprise. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, you know, just a couple more seconds. 21 versus armor class on Kadojo. Hit. Don't you have like a 13 armor right. class anyway? So you take a total no, 12. of 12. 9 damage from the bugbearer has a morning star and Ooh. he gets uh, quite a bit of damage. So you take 9. Bloody. Alright, you are damaged. You're bloodied. Uh, he only gets 1 attack, so that's it for him. He's moved. Uh, next up, uh, this bugbearer here comes into the room. Ooch and attacks the rogue that is trying to... He has a nice vantage point with his back facing him. So hey, I'm Dave. That is... One second. That is an attack. Nine versus armor class. Yes. Alright. That is a miss. One second. Storm. Uh, the red brain ruffian up here is attacking the dwarf. Fourteen versus armor class should be a miss, I think, right? Dwarf, are you here? Robert, are you here? Hello. Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. Ugh. You said you said fourteen, right? Yeah, fourteen versus armor class. Yep. No, it's a miss. Okay. All right, now, Wolf, what did you need, bud? Now what would I hear? I mean, I players would not, not here. I, I don't need this. Hit with that maze, right? <clears throat> How would we hear asking it, four like, or five times for shit. With the way I'm, since I'm um, staring at that one um, bandit in front of me. Uh, so what? You, so you have the the red brand to the north. Your attention is focused on on that ruffian there, right? Right. Now your question is: Do you notice the bugbears piling in from the from the south? Well, would I? Well, more like would I notice anything coming be from behind me since Kadojo's right there? Well, you know that he's pretty much butt up against you, almost a couple feet between you. And would I hear him like screaming from that hit? Oh, yeah, you, you definitely heard the you heard the connection from yeah. You heard him. Ugh. Definitely did, yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to picture this here. <laughs> oh yeah, you you definitely heard. Uh, metal on flesh especially seeing that poor Kadojo has has no armor on either uh, I'll be like maybe you want to do something about that <laughs> mage armor of yours <laughs> alright so Edward what are you doing now I'm going to attack this um, bandit right here okay you guys got quite a bit on you right now. Critical fumble. Oh, 
man, yeah, you you fumble your uh, oh my god, weapon, and that is uh, that's the rest. That's your turn. Uh. All right, so this <sighs> this <laughs> this goblin here uh, does nothing. He just stands there and continues to entice the uh, other bugbears. He sounds like a pretty pretty pitiful goblin, actually. Doesn't sound like he's all there. Although, most goblins aren't all there anyway. This one just seems to be a little special. Alright, Kadojo, what are you doing? Uh, uh, is the guy in front of me wearing any metal? Uh, he's wearing armor. Uh, this bugbear is wearing a... Uh, Hide, sh hide armor and a shield. Now you notice that this bugbear here, uh, which is a little bit larger, you notice that he wears a jeweled eye patch, uh, and it, you basically you saw that he had two eyes, and then you seen him take this jeweled eye patch that was kind of sticking up on his forehead, and you seen him just kind of slap it over his eye real quick. So it, you you seen him have two eyes, and then he puts his eye patch on for some crazy reason. I. Don't ask me why, but that's what you see. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> now, when casting magic in close combat, do the enemies get an attack of opportunity? Uh, no, but they do not get any kind of attack of opportunity. What happens when you cast a spell is if it is a, sk a spell with an attack, like Ray of Frost or a Cone of Cold or anything like that, anything that has an attack roll, then you're at disadvantage. If you cast a normal spell like Magic Missile or anything like that, it's fine. It's normal because it's just an automatic hit. But no, they, they do not get any kind of attack of opportunity. If that's okay. what you're worried about. I'm going to go ahead and cast Magic Missile, all three darts in, f in the guy in front of me. Okay, uh, to the bugbear in front of you? Yes. Okay, all three, go ahead and roll your damage. So all three of your uh, force darts will pummel into the chest of this bugbear in front of you. Ooh. Not too bad, pretty good damage. It's a lot better than average, so... All right. Okay, that's it for Kadojo. Now we have the the leader. The leader tells all of the other bugbears to withdraw weapons. And what are you doing fighting once with one another? You're all wearing cloaks. Why do you fight one another? We always fight. This guy up here was Whoa. cheating. This guy was cheating. Dirty cheat. They Got him right-handed. <laughs> they attacked me. And he's, you know, bleeding and kind of smoldering and. <laughs> we came here with the black spider's word that you were going to take care of Fanolin. We're here to help you take care of Fanolin. And now you guys are fighting with one another. You guys are petty. Anyone Where money's hello, concerned, hello. there is no petty. He shouldn't have been cheating. The little goblin in the back says, hey, Get him! Troop says, Get him! Get him! And the uh, he actually calls the... He calls the bugbear Mosque. Mosque as an M O S K. Okay. So what are you, what are you guys doing? I mean, you guys are really quiet. You guys have been like quiet all night, actually. We're winded from the fight. <laughs> Where, uh, I, I'm, I'm gushing up blood gotcha. from my mouth here. <laughs> F14, thank you for the follow. Mouth here, so I really can't talk. Fishy fish, thank you for the follow as well. So thank hurt. You. 
I'm, I'm going to holler at the goblin. Why are you trying to egg this on? You need to just hush up. We're we're uh, here at the spider's request, and uh, you're here to help us. You're we're you're here. The the spider hired you. We're 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 here for the spider. We don't know who you are. Give me a uh, give me deception. another deception check. Yeah, that would be for Edward. <laughs> we're here from the spider. <laughs> Well, wasn't he the one who managed to bluff the idiots around oh, the table? Oh, it's no problem, monster. I just don't want <laughs> the much. other players to to see it, just in case. I mean, I'm I'm not mad or anything, but uh, oh, like I said, monster. Five. Don't even worry about it. Oh man. my god! I, don't sweat one. it. One. I wasn't one. timing one. it out to time one. me out. One. I was one. timing one. it out to, table, but to get rid of what was said so they wouldn't see it in case they watch watching. Roll some, uh, two, but three, I'm not four. mad, dude. Don't worry about He's it. Gonna roll another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that happening. I'm not. I, I'm not mad at all. I just didn't. Uh, just didn't want the players to see it. Yeah, no. And it has to be a critical. Oh, critical. And, and, and he had a negative one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a I'm roll, sorry, isn't it? Negative one, no crit. Yeah, he gets a charisma of minus one. So, uh, old Mosk, he knows that you're uh, you're bullshitting him. And he tells you that they just arrived here at the complex, and he knows for a fact that you do not work for the spider. And then he asks you, so who is the spider? Describe the spider. What is the That's spider? That's none of your business. You shut up over there, dwarf. <laughs> I am not talking to you. The spider. Why should I care who you're talking to? I, I, could you. I could tell you who the spider is. I know that sh uh, she is uh, from Fanolin <laughs> and happens to work in one of the costures there. The spider from Fanolin? Ha 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 Now I know you're full of lies. You're not red brands. You must be part of that dwarven escapade that was sent to Fanolin. What do you say for yourselves now that you've been had? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> As the only dwarf in the group. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue. You you did not impress the the bugbear, especially with the uh, the spider sent us. <laughs> that was pretty good. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and continue. Uh, that will be his entire action this round. All of the. Uh, you know, Great. the dialogue and RP. So, Craig, you're up now. Okay. Mm, you guys got um, five, six, seven on you. That's about a difficulty of a... What, what are the bear... Ooh, so there's one, two, three. You guys are... Are any of these bastards bloodied? Uh, yeah. Actually, all of the, the red brands are, are bloodied, like I was saying earlier. They're all bloodied here. I'll make them bloodied so you can have a visual on them. I didn't think you guys would be missing them for, for two rounds, so... Yeah, no shot. Alright. So there you go. Those are They're all bloodied there. Okay. Um... That would have been a good time for him to do a Burning Hands then, because it could have um, taken them all out, basically. Who besides Kadojo is is hurt? Hello? They haven't oh, laid no a problem. finger on me yet. Monsters, seriously. Nor me. Don't of course sweat not, you're it, hiding dude. in a corner. I'm not, I'm not sweating it, dude. Um, oh, yeah, I'm hiding right next to two okay. of them. <laughs> um, I will... I'm not sweating it at all, buddy, I promise. And I'm still in tip-top shape. I was going to try to untime you, but healing with the dialogue and DMing, I, I just couldn't And I will heal... What's, what's, what's your uh, maximum health, Kadojo? Fourteen. What what's your current health at? Five. Um, I'll heal you as much as I can and heal the rest on myself. <laughs> um, how much like so? 
You, you said yeah, you're the difficulty four is at about a four. Five. Right now. Five. This is definitely Five. the hardest fight that they've had. Definitely. Does but that mean I can only heal him up to, se uh, to I seven? I want to challenge him. Well, you can. David, you can basically. Because that is doesn't make a damn bit of sense. 